regarding our, our millennial, Indonesian millennial, like we are quite new to this kind of experience, yep. quite new to this kind of thing. And like last year, we have an art stage in Jakarta yep. here, and it's not a small fit, it's a, it's a big fit. Mm-hmm. And uh, regarding you know art here now and art fairs, and like uh, there, there are a lot of, well, we have a lot of history regarding that. Uh, we talk with history, you yep. know. But uh, what do you think about the, the, the newest pattern? What do you think about the, the, the millennials that, that comes to your museum? Uh, do you have any thought? Well, uh, well, I, I think firstly, in Indonesia, and I mean, if we look, just look at Jakarta itself, it has a fascinating demography. Um, and that's one. That's what where this museum and, and this situation is maybe different from other other places around the world. I mean, it's a, a incredibly populous, um, uh, incredibly large population. You've got uh, young people who are eager and also avid co- um, consumers of te- technology. So, so of course, what we see when we about the young uh, our young audiences is, is that. Actually, they engage with the world in a completely different way to generations prior, so that they look at the world through smartphones, that they communicate to each other through, through social media. And that's a really a very exciting situation because it means that this museum, I mean, one of, the, one of the things that we're very keen on doing in this museum is ensuring that we communicate uh, to people in a very clear way. So uh, we will we embrace the, the technology. I mean, Museum Machan is a museum for the 21st century. So it of co- it's very different. It's a very different feel and situation to other other museums that are, uh, that are, that are around. And in the future, you know, we want to be able to engage with um, all kinds of age groups because it's not just millennials who who engage with technology. Technology has affected uh, society every, everywhere. In every every corner of society has been affected in 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 some way. Um, through through te- through technology, and I think that that we we embrace it. We really really do embrace it. So you it. will say it's a positive. Thing. Of course, it's a positive thing. I mean, I think that of course there are, there are. Um, I mean, it's not just for millennials who this experience of being in a museum is new. It's actually for for, for everyone. So so there are a number of things that we do notice. But I mean, we we use social media as a way of being able to articulate some of the things that, that shouldn't happen in a museum, for instance. Uh, you can't touch the, the works, you can't, um, we don't, we, it's not a, uh, we, we, we want to encourage people to in, have that contemplation, uh, being able to contemplate, contemplate a painting. So as much as we encourage people to take photographs, we also want to make sure that they have that one-on-one experience as well. Um, and it's a, this is, um, you know, this is this is often the thing that can't be explained or can't be photographed. You know, the, the when you're standing in front of a, of a painting and and it might stick in your mind for, for days afterwards because it might just bug you. Something something about it might just affect you in a in a particular way. These things can't necessarily be reproduced through through um, uh, social media. Yeah. So when I was working that week here, I saw a painting of God. Mm. And if I might ask you, how would you explain God to? You know, I mean, I think firstly, what we would encourage is for people to spend time and to look, right? I mean, it's it's like it's like listening to music. You don't get it straight away. You actually have have to have to spend have to spend time with it. And what this ex- this particular exhibition has done is to to map out a broader history from from the late 19th century, from the from the uh, Dutch, Dutch East Indies all the way through to the the global contemporary. So there are things that people will not have come across before. But you know, we we write um, information about about the work. So often the, the the wall labels are a good way to start about uh, understanding what's going into it. But the but the thing that thing that people should do is just stop and look. You know, have a look at the the uh, the way in which the paint is put onto the on, onto the canvas. You know, how does it make you feel? What it, what what does, it, what does it make what does it make you think about? Um, and and then over the time you know you'll be able to piece together some kind of broader narrative based on your own experience of, of standing and watching.